Wings 3D is a free open source 3D modeler for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Wings is available from wings3d.com. At around 8 megabytes is a very small download. Wings lacks some of the features you might find in other 3D modelers, but what it does do, it does well. What many people like so much about Wings 3D is its clean interface and ease of use. When you first open Wings, you'll see a ground plane and some arrows marked X, Y, and Z. X is side to side, Y is up and down, and Z is front and back. Some modelers swap out the Y and Z directions, but most are set up the same way Wings is. The ground plane serves as a reference point and a visual cue. Each square is one unit by one unit. Every modeler uses a different scale system. Whatever you want to call the units and wings is up to you. They can be inches, meters, feet, or miles. The importance of scale will only be relevant if you're exporting the model to another 3D application. I like to have the geometry graph and outliner windows open. You can enable them by going to Window, then clicking on the names from the drop-down menu. The windows are movable and scalable, so you can place them anywhere you like. The geometry graph shows all the individual models in the scene, and the outliner window shows the models and any other items in the scene, like images, materials, and lights. Scrolling the mouse wheel zooms in and out. To move the camera around, simply middle click, then move the mouse. To stop the camera, click the left mouse button. The default setting makes the camera orbit around the world center. To me, this feels very intuitive, but there are settings for other camera behaviors in the Preferences menu. You can access them by clicking this icon in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. An excellent feature of Wings is that the camera can be moved while in the middle of an operation. This allows you to view your work from different angles before committing. For instance, here I am extruding a group of faces, then middle mouse clicking to move the camera, then left clicking to continue the extrusion. One handy feature is the aim function found under the main menu. This will make the camera orbit around whatever is selected when aim was clicked. I use this so much that I assigned a hotkey to it. I chose to assign this feature to control M as it's the same in Career, my other preferred application. Information on how to define hotkeys can be found under the help menu. Wings 3D has a very clean user interface due to its reliance on right click context based menus. With an empty scene or nothing selected, right-click anywhere in the workspace and a menu appears with a list of available options. It has tetrahedron, octahedron, cube, sphere, etc. These are all base models called primitives which can be used as a starting point to create new models. One thing to note is that there aren't the common 3D operations listed such as move, scale, subdivide because with nothing in the scene there's nothing to move, scale, or subdivide. Only the tools that you can use at the moment are displayed in the menus. Once an item is in the scene and selected, those options will become available in the right-click menu. 3D models are made up of vertices, edges, and planes. At the top of the workspace window are four icons representing these vertices, edges, planes, and objects. When in edge mode, you can select the edges of a model. In face mode, you can select the faces. Object mode selects the models as a whole. The right-click menus will show different functions depending on which mode you're currently in. One of the excellent features of Wings is that you can select one type of feature, then switch modes, and the selection will carry over. For instance, you can select one vertex, then switch to edge mode, and all edges that connect to that vertex will now be selected. Deselecting items can be done by left-clicking them a second time, or hitting spacebar to deselect everything. Any menu item that has a square to the right of it has additional settings available. Left click the square or simply right click the menu item to bring up a window of these extra settings. For instance, I'll create a sphere by right clicking in my empty scene, then left clicking sphere. I can create a different type of sphere by right clicking, then right clicking sphere to bring up the advanced window. In this pop-up menu, I can change the settings. Here I can change the number of longitude lines from 16 to 20, Add some extra latitude lines. I can change its height to anything, say one unit, and its diameter to three units. Any menu item that has dots before and after the listing also has advanced options. When you hover the mouse over one of these menu items, Wings will list the advanced options at the bottom of the workspace. Most of these allow you to make changes relative to a second selection. 
For instance, here's a cube being rotated around the y-axis using the standard method. Notice how the model pivots around its center. Instead, by right-clicking Rotate, we can pick a different pivot point, like this edge. Another important thing to note is the information in the upper left corner. This gives feedback depending on what operation you're doing. For instance, when the cube is selected, it tells me information about the object, like how many polygons it has. If I decide to scale it, the dialog will change to tell me how much I'm scaling it. If you have a specific amount needed, you can hit Tab and enter the amount in the window. For those already familiar with other modeling software and wondering where the gizmos and universal manipulators are, have a look at Tweak Mode available in the Tools menu at the top bar. So those are the user interface basics for Wings 3D. It may sound like a lot at first, but most people find it very intuitive and easy to work with in short time. Give it a try, create a primitive, and spend some time playing around with the different selections and functions. If you've never modeled before, some of the tools may seem confusing or purposeless, but one day when you need them, you'll know where they are and that they're available to you. I hope you have as much fun creating in Wings 3D as I have.